Peter Parker, better known as Spider-Man. With great power comes great responsibility. He has a well ball and he has perfected the spider sting. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, he is currently the 14th placeholder in C tier. But what is it about Spider-Man that keeps the opponent on their toes? To find out, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Spider-Man Move List on Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Spider-Man moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, let us first take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the web ball. The web ball is Spider-Man's standard projectile. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The web ball works just like the Hadouken, but it traps opponent in webbing upon contact. The light punch version moves around the same speed as the fierce punch variation. The main difference here is that the Fierce Punch version traps enemies for a longer period. The Web Ball can be done in mid-air in the same manner as Akuma's Zanku Hadouken, with the Web Ball itself being an excellent tool for both zoning and controlling space. So the next move I like to cover is called a Spider Sting. This move is Spider-Man's anti-air attack. To do the move, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. Press the punch button again to slam the opponent to the ground with another punch. This second punch is called Spider Bite. The Spider Sting is a great anti-air attack that is both damaging and it is very fast. As with any other anti-air, the Light Punch version is a bit safer to use, especially when you're on the offensive. The Web Throw is Spider-Man's Command Grab. To do the attack, do a half circle back plus any punch button. And it looks like this. The Light Punch version makes Spider-Man shoot his well forward while the Fear Sponge variation has him shoot it in an up forward angle. In order for this move to connect, Spider-Man needs to be at least two Spider-Man's distance away from the opponent. If he's too far away, the move will not initiate. So yeah, you have to be at least two Spider-Man distance away for the move to connect. Also, the Fear Sponge version can be used as an anti-air. So yeah, the web throw has a little startup time, so it takes a bit of planning when using it. So the web swing is like Spider-Man's Tatsu. Spider-Man will swing off his web into a kick attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button. The light kick version swings at a shorter distance while the first kick variation is full screen range. This move can be performed in mid air and is an effective way to move through the air. Also, use the well swing with Spider-Man's air dash for best results. So yeah, so yeah, you can do the air dash first 
do the air dash, and then you can go into a well swing if you wanted to. Besides being an awesome combo finisher, the well swing is a great way to close the distance between Spider-Man and the enemy. Spider-Man has three throws in his game. Press forward and fierce punch for a flipping body slam. Press forward and fierce kick for an overhead body toss. Press forward and fierce punch in mid air for an aerial version of the flipping body slam. Alright. Okay, Spider Man has three ways to do a launcher. The first way is by pressing light punch twice. So yeah, he'll uh he'll knock the opponent up on the second hit. Alright. The second way is by pressing down forward and fierce punch for a single uppercut. So this is basically just the second hit of the light punch combo. Okay. And finally. The third way is by doing a standing fierce kick. So yeah, just press fierce kick. My personal favorite. Spider-Man has two command normals for this game. Jump towards the wall, then the opposite direction to initiate a wall bounce. And that's it. Okay. Press forward twice or press both punch buttons to execute Spider-Man's air dash. I like the fact that his air dash is him actually well slinging. How cool is that? You can do Spider-Man's taunt by pressing the select button. If you're playing the Dreamcast version, then press light kick plus start to do the taunt. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Maximum Spider. Spider-Man would do a wall bounce then proceed to do an automatic combo. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. At the beginning of this move, you can guide Spider-Man upon his initial attack with the D-pad. Otherwise, Spider-Man will always try to hone in on the opponent's position. This hyper combo is cool because it showcases Spidey's speed and agility. This hyper can be done in mid-air and also, it's possible to do this attack from an air dash or a wall bounce. So yeah, you can wall bounce and then go into it. So you can do this from air dash. That's it. The second hyper I would like to cover is called the Crawler Assault. This is the move where Spider-Man hits the opponent with the eight hit ground combo. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. The Crawler Assault is an overall nice hyper. You generally want to be as close as you can to the opponent while performing this attack. Use the Crawler Assault for chip damage and especially when the enemy is low on health. Also, try using either a variety or projectile type assist to open up the opponent at the beginning of the attack. So for instance, if I caught him with Spider-Man's Well Ball assist, I can go right into the Crawler Assault from there. Okay. The third hyper I would like to discuss is called the Ultimate Web Throw. This is the move where Spider-Man grabs the opponent with his web, then goes into multiple flips into a body slam. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle back plus both punch buttons.
This move is a great surprise attack for enemies who love to rush in. However, the ultimate well throw does not have full screen range and the enemy must be in range of Spider-Man's initial weapon. Also, it's possible to dash in and punish Spider-Man if the move is blocked, so be mindful. Here are some combos to keep in mind with Spider-Man. First, hit the opponent with the Fierce Punch Well Ball, then immediately do the Maximum Spider for 6 hits. In the second example, jump in with Fierce Kick then do a Crouching, Light Punch, Light Kick, Light Kick into a Standing Fierce Kick, then press Up and Light Punch, Light Kick, Light Punch, Light Kick into a Fierce Kick Well Swing. Here's what to expect when you use Spider-Man as an assist character. Spider-Man's Alpha Assist will attack the enemy with a Fierce Punch Well Ball. His Beta Assist will use the Fierce Kick Web Swing. And his Gamma Assist will perform a Fierce Punch Spider Stain. Overall, Spider-Man is a cool character whose gameplay revolves around getting in and striking with fast hitting combos. With the Spider Sting and Web Ball, I can see why some may consider him as a Shoto. He's like half guy and half Ken Masters. But in my opinion, I feel as though he's mostly a rushdown type character. His Web Ball is an excellent tool for zoning and his Spider Sting is an anti-air that keeps the opponents at bay. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with Spider-Man. Use the Fierce Punch Well Ball to trap the opponent and score a free combo off of them. Remember to use the Well Swing in tandem with Spidey's Air Dash. Also, you can do the Well Ball and Maximum Spider from the Air Dash all the same. Use the Fierce Punch Well Ball to trap opponents, but use the Light Punch version as a combo finisher. Because Spidey's hypers can often leave him wide open, use them as a means to counterattack and never purely as an offensive. Whenever using Spider-Man as an assist, make sure to use the Alpha one, which is the Fierce Punch Well Ball. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.